Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Walmart. I can't believe this is episode 15 already. Oh, and don't ask what I'm gonna do after I run out of Daryl Wimpy Kid titles, because we're almost there. But yes, not only is it the holiday season, it's freaking cold. Like, very cold. Are you guys staying warm? Well, as a former Walmart employee, we had to get creative. Wait, I mean, hold up. Inside the store, though, it was actually pretty warm. I mean, they'd actually blast the radiators. Some employees would be wearing t-shirts. But outside the store, it was like 10 degrees. Jeez, I'd rather be inside the store. Duh. Jorge, can you go push carts? Uh... Yeah, you guys have heard the stories about me pushing carts at Walmart. And more specifically, in the summer, where it would be super hot. Oh, we would be burning under that sun. But in the winter... Woo, it feels 10 times worse. Me and my buddy Ryan would be going around the whole parking lot and bringing the carts in. And let me emphasize, this was in the winter, which was very brutal. The main reason why was because these carts were not winter friendly. The wheels would literally freeze in the cold. Oh, Ryan, this one isn't moving. Ah, another one? Give it a kick. Also, my shifts would be after school. So I would usually go in at 4 or 5 p.m. And where I'm from at that time, it would already be pitch black. And being out in a dark parking lot was a really bad idea because a lot of these driver's IQs would go down the drain. Hey, oh my God, you look like a freaking silhouette. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ask Santa for a light up vest. And the worst part about a dark parking lot was the one and only pesky ice. Oh, cause guys, the amount of times that we almost slip, I honestly, lost count oh boy oh boy and thank god that we had the carts right next to us to grab on oh they were freaking lifesavers and pushing those carts would be a hassle too since they were so cold oh we would get borderline frostbite ah, ah, ah. Hey? another scene change going back in the store would be so relieving for us as well because we'd get a wave of the heat that's inside the store felt like a mini paradise however this one time i wish i could make this up i was pushing a stack of carts into the store but one of the carts had a big chunk of ice right under the wheel so the whole cart stack was freaking tokyo drifting on me so as i was bringing it into the store i lost control and what happened the stack hit one of the displays that were in the front. And this display, <laughs> it was filled with bread. So guess what happened? Let's just say there was nothing but bread on the ground. And was my manager mad? Nope. He actually helped me clean the mess. Ah, no worries, Jorge. This is the second time that it's happened this week. Second time? Who did it first? Me. <laughs> my mic. <laughs> I was holding it the wrong way. Also, the time that I'm filming this is the week after Christmas, which would be just as, if not even worse than the week before Christmas at the store. Oh, and it's not because people are buying stuff. It's because people are returning stuff. Jorge, can you go to customer service? <laughs> okay. The customer service line would be freaking longer than my will to live. And the people People returning stuff, let's just say I've seen a smarter group of individuals. Hey man, I was looking to return this. Um, where's the item? Oh, I have it at my place, but can I at least get some store credit for bringing back the box? Um, that's not how the store works, man. Idiots. And sometimes other people would do the complete opposite. Hey, can I return this item? Um, sure, but where's the box? Oh, I threw it away. Um, then we can't accept this item, ma'am. Wait, but that's blasphemy. Blasphemy? Where's your manager? Here we go. <laughs> yep, the customer service desk is a breeding ground for Karens. Hey, ma'am, so what seems to be the problem? I want to return this. You have a box? Nope, it doesn't matter. <laughs> She said she doesn't have a box. Stop laughing. Oh, wait till corporate hears about this one. Yeah, my manager did not want to deal with these Karens. I once had this crazy interaction with a customer as well that exceeds all of my other interactions. Hey, I want to return this iPhone. Do you have a receipt? Nah, I don't. Okay, do you have the card you paid with? Nah, I stole it. I stole it. Wait, you what? Uh, I just wanted to be honest. And maybe as a reward, I could get some money back. Uh, oh, wow. Wait, look at the time. It's my lunch break. Toby, you mind taking care of this guy for me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to deal with that one. So if y'all bought something from Walmart, just wait till next week to return it, please. <laughs> oh, wait, but also make sure it still fits in your 30-day time frame, because I don't want y'all to screw that up as well. <laughs> Again, check your receipts, guys. Cling, 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 cling. Yes, sir. Subscribe to the Clips channel, follow the Twitch, follow the Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.